Hello everyone. This will be interesting. Um, to me, maybe not to you. A lot of people probably don't know, some people do, that I used to do a lot of reviewing of CDs and concerts and the odd festival and I would get sent CDs to me. This is back in the days and I used like proper written reviews, none of this YouTube malarkey. So, and the website where um, a lot all my reviews were recently I think it was recently went away so my reviews are not there anymore however I managed to capture my reviews because I wanted to I was just like just, just for I don't know just for the sake of it you know I did all that work I might as well at least save it so of course as I'm as I'm saving this stuff I started reading a few of them and um this is here's a review <laughs> from 15 years ago that I wrote. Um, I'll read it to you verbatim. I will not edit this or anything. This is literally the review that has been up on that website for 15 years with my name against it. This was written in April 2007. So yeah, 15 years ago, almost exactly 15 years ago. It's by a band called See You Next Tuesday, and the album was called Parasite. The, the website, by the way, was called Room 13, and all of the scores, because you had to give everything scores in those days, in fact, I suppose you probably do to an extent, uh, it was all out of 13. Pardon the knee, I just can't get comfy today. Um, let's put one leg off, there we go. Right. So it was all scores out of 13, and I gave this two out of 13. See where this is going, can't you? So this is what I was like 15 years ago. <clears throat> you know when you get given an album and you have no idea what it is? You look at it and try and guess what you're going to get? This is some cool artwork on the cover of a half bird, half man thing looking into a little nest of some skulls. Metal. I figured it wasn't going to be like AOR, but it's got 14 songs on it, so I thought I was going to get a full album of Metal Stroke Thrash. I was wrong. Allow me to give you some figures. This album is 18 minutes long, yet it contains 14 songs, because they're in quotes on the, on the page. Now my maths isn't that great, but even I can see that's a lot of songs in not much time. At 18 minutes, I've had longer sing-alongs in the bath, yet if you buy it, you'll be charged full price. Someone is taking the piss. Track 1, weighing in at 5 seconds, three of which are silent, doesn't exactly take you on a musical journey, but there again, none of the other songs do either. Like a lot of albums, this one leaves the long over... Nope, start again. Like a lot of albums, this one leaves the overlong, self-indulgent track to the end. There's a whole 3 minutes 17 of it. Phew, I was worn out after that. As you can see by the track list, this has hilarious song titles. I'll put the track list below this video. None of which matter, as the singer has adopted the style of someone being tortured with cattle prods. Totally incoherent screaming over disjointed song structures. Ha! There I go using the word structures on songs that average one and a half minutes. What am I thinking? According to their press release, they spent 17 hour days delivering all their blood, sweat and other bodily fluids into the 14 songs. 17 hour days. What the fuck were you all doing for God's sake to boil it down to 18 minutes of steaming crap? There isn't a track on here that is remotely good. There is the odd good riff here but they're soon drowned out by our resident tortured singer. There's nothing I can think of to recommend this at three pounds, never mind full price. That really does make me a bit angry. If you want extreme and don't want to get completely ripped off, go and buy the new Bloodstained Child, al Child album. You'll thank me later. As for See You Next Tuesday, I don't know how many albums you have to sell to make another commercially viable, but if you get there, then think of all the people you ripped off with this and do a better job next time. As you can see, I've, I've mellowed a bit over the years. 
If you'd like to hear some more of my scathing reviews, put some comments in. To be honest, if I liked things like the Bloodstained Child album, I give it a glowing review. You know, it's not like it's not like I was one of those reviews that just went out of their way to to hate things and 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 try and sort of look clever. I vaguely remember this, even though it's fifteen years ago, and it was awful. And you can look up "See You Next Tuesday" on YouTube because I did, and you can have a look at some of their um, output for yourself. See you soon. Bye-bye.